Hey, Rachel, it's Lauren Cabello. I am the author of the website, laurencabello.com, the book, The Recovering Spender, and a single mom of four who is a frugal living and budgeting expert. We all know that buying in bulk is a good idea, but did you know that there are some things that you should never buy in bulk? Yes, you guys, toilet paper. Do not buy this in bulk. Just look on the sales on the websites of your local grocery store. You're gonna save 25% or more just by buying it at the local grocery store. One thing you need to be really, really careful of in buying in bulk, over-the-counter medications. These have expiration dates on them. And if you buy them in bulk and you're not exactly sure when you're going to be using them, they're gonna go bad. Buy them when you're on sale in smaller amounts so that you're not wasting your money. Another thing to watch out for when you're buying in bulk is condiments. You don't need two gallons of ketchup, right? You're gonna waste a lot of money because you're not gonna be able to use it fast enough. So skip the bulk items and the bulk buys on condiments and you'll be in a much better position. I'm gonna go down the list here of what, what to buy, what are the best gotcha. buys, okay? So we're gonna start off here first with spices and you're gonna guess, now you know this, but we're just gonna play a little game, right? Okay. Right. So spices or cooking oil, what do you think is the best thing to buy? Well, I can make an argument for both actually. Okay. I've even bought spices, if I know it's something I use a ton of, mm -hmm. I've even bought them at like dollar stores or super discount stores. Okay. If I know that it's it's like one minute out of date and it's something that I use a ton of, okay. I'm hoping it's cooking oil, but <laughs> it isn't, it's spices, <laughs> it's not it's cooking spices. oil. spices, okay. What do you want to buy in bulk? You wanna buy cooking or uh, baking supplies or cleaning supplies? Oh, I don't know. John does all the cleaning stuff. So. <laughs> and, and this one I really don't know because I don't bake, my sister does. Oh, see, I'm a baker, so it's actually baking supplies. All right, okay. well, good for Maria. So you want to buy baking supplies in bulk. You want to buy flour. Now make sure that you can store it in a place where it's not going to go bad, right? right? Sugar, my favorite is vanilla extract, buying that in bulk. And then also, um, you know, baking uh, powder, you those kind of things. You do bake a lot, I do. don't you? Okay, Rachel, next we're talking about coffee and butter. Which one is better to buy in bulk? I don't buy coffee in cans, so I'm out of this, and I'm not even allowed to make coffee in my house. So I wouldn't buy this in bulk anywhere, and I like my coffee a little fresher than the can. So I'm gonna say butter, yes, I keep it in the right. freezer. That's right. And I keep mine in exactly. the freezer. Exactly, that's my tip. This is the number one thing that I buy at the bulk store. You can get it in a pack of four, freeze it, another little tip, shred it, when it's frozen, right, right, and you right. can use it, it, it to fold it into recipes. It, it goes so yep. much easier. It goes in so much faster. Okay, this one, cereal or cheese? Which one? I can never have enough cheese, so I would buy that okay, anywhere. Okay, this three audience said cereal. Um, <laughs> all right, we'll go with them. They want cereal. Okay, so actually, cereal is probably the worst buy at a bulk store. You guys! <laughs> you actually are going to save about 30% by buying your cheese. This is actually the number two item that I buy at a bulk store. So you're big on the dairy there. Yes, the, the, it, the dairy cheese, is good. The now cheese this and is, the butter. This is the tip. Bring it home, shred it, freeze right. it in little one pound uh, little packets, baggies. And then you can defrost it really easy. You're gonna save about 30%. This, you can save, shop the sales at your local grocery store, use coupons. A lot of stores have coupons right in their app. You're gonna save and they, so much money. And last but not least, we have meat or nuts. Well, I can eat all think? of this before I go home. Okay. Uh, <laughs> meat? Meat. I hope. Yes, you're right. That's a good You're right, you're right. Yes. You can freeze it. <laughs> and often the big family packs, what I love about the big family packs, I don't know if this person did it, but oftentimes they come pre-portioned, exactly. which is great. Exactly, this is where people yeah. often uh, lose, lose money though when they buy it. Because a lot of bulk stores pre-package their things for parties, so they have marinades in them. You want to no. skip the marinades. No, 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 So no, you're going to no. lose money if you do, do that something. way. Do something. So, no. Yes, do it right. So if you're getting a big, like, let's say you're getting it's ground well, beef in a right, huge right, packet, right. bring it home, put it in one pack and packages. And you have to break it down. Freeze it. And Always you save a break lot it down. Of money. Always yep. break it down. Yeah.